Good afternoon. We are in Monterey, California. And we've got our, our little uh, longitude. We got it packed. We got uh, every seat filled. And uh, we've got uh, family and friends. And we're heading for Tahoe. We've got a, got a deal on the Edgewood Resort. Got a nice golf course there. Just on the Nevada side of the lake. And it's right on the lake. It's a beautiful spot for golf, for boating. And uh, there's some shows up there. We haven't figured out which show we're going to. So uh, we're going to go up have three or four days up there. And then we're thinking of heading for the, the uh, open golf tournament in, in uh, Scotland. Scotland at Troon, Scotland. So let's get going here and uh, we'll get outside so we can see what we're doing. Get behind here, give it the full power. Everything looks about normal. Coming up on a hundred. Let's get my my favorite, favorite look. And get wheels up. And the flaps up. And the autopilot on. And then we go back inside and we also... Seven Bravo, Charlie contact NorCal departure on one tree tree decimal zero. Good day. do that. One tree tree decimal zero Cessna seven Bravo Charlie. Goodbye. And then we're going to turn on the, we turn on the auto throttle right there. Look at the throttles are already coming back for our climb. So we'll go ahead and look up here and watch us climbing out. There so far it looks like uh, we're a little bit off course, but we're getting back on course there. And our maximum speed is 250, which is the speed limit for under 11,000 feet. Contact, contact the control. So we've got auto throttle. So that'll keep us from, from busting the red line on this. NorCal departure Cessna 527 Bravo Charlie is passing 4,500 feet, climbing 14,000 feet. Cessna 527 Bravo Charlie NorCal, departure altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 radar contact continue. And so when we get above 11,000, we'll start, we'll start, uh, we'll start getting that. We're getting on course here. And uh, we, our speed gets increased, so we we get to, to go a little faster as we get up there. So we got our nav on, and uh, auto throttle appears to be working. You can see that right in, right in, right in here, and that says 249, 250 right there is our knots. We're climbing to 14,000 feet. And we'll go back to that side. Oakland Center on 127.45. Good day. 127.45, Cessna 7, Bravo, Charlie. Goodbye. Oakland Center, Cessna 527, Bravo, Charlie is at 8,900 feet, climbing 14,000 feet. Cessna 527 Bravo Charlie, Oakland Center Altimeter 29 or Decimal 9 or 2 Radar Contact, continue. Okay, our, our yeah, we're 10,000, so our uh, airspeed uh, uh, auto throttle kicked up to 270. And we're looking over here at a Watsonville, and we'll come around and look back maybe at Salinas. Yeah, there's Salinas right, right back there. 
Look back at Monterey. Can't quite see Monterey. There's the Salinas <laughs> River. Okay. Two one zero. And we'll increase our flight speed to thirty eight. We'll try that. Seven Bravo Charlie, acknowledge last transmission. Climb and maintain flight level two one zero Cessna seven Bravo Charlie. And we'll look out and about. Everything looks uh, on schedule in there. And looking back at Monterey, Salinas over there. Looking down at Watsonville. Right, right there. And Santa Cruz is over there under the clouds. Everything, uh, everybody's uh, is. Uh, Kicking back, We've got the hors d'oeuvres out and uh, serving drinks. Enjoy yourself. We'll be there in about a, about 40 minutes. And we'll look down here at, at we'll look for for uh, Hollister. Hollister is right over in there. And this is probably Gilroy, right in here. Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie climb and maintain flight level 350. There we go. Climb and maintain flight level 350 Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie. Uh, kick the climb rate up. Yeah, we can we can we can do four thousand feet a minute. Just, just make sure our our speed uh, continues. Yeah, it should be. Let's see what what it shows here. Yeah, we got uh, three hundred seventy three knots. Two hundred seventy is our uh, indicated indicated airspeed is two sixty three. I guess thirty five thousand feet a minute. What do we got at four thousand feet a minute? Yeah, that's a little strong. So we'll bring it bring it back here to thirty five hundred. There we go. Because we're look like we're losing a little speed. And got got ten thousand feet to go. Everything looks pretty good. Yeah, let's look around, see where we where we are. Uh, so we aren't going to see San Luis uh, Luis Reservoir, which would be right down in there, or I-5. We're doing good. We'll probably look up to the Bay Area a little bit. And be back on our tail. We're looking out to the ocean. Didn't quite, quite pick up the Bay Area, but maybe the fog is covering the Bay Area over there today.
Okay, we got 5,000 feet to go. We're losing speed a little, so we'll decrease our climb rate to the 30. 33,000 feet a minute. See how that does. Yeah, with the auto throttle, all it took was uh, clicking, clicking this button right here for auto throttle. Turn it on. I couldn't get get my head wrapped around that for the life of me. Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie, climb and maintain flight level 440. Okay. Climb and maintain flight level 440 Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie. There we Cessna go. Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie, climb and maintain flight level 370. Yeah, I thought that was a little high. 370. There we go. Climb and maintain flight level 370 Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie. Yeah, they like, uh, they they know I like to yo-yo in the Dark Star, so they just thought I'd be a little homesick for the, for the Dark Star. Except we fooled them. We hadn't even gotten to 440. So now we're 37, we're a th thousand feet away. That's what that little beep was. And we'll get, get kicking along here a little, little faster. And we're over the central valley. Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie, descend and maintain flight level 290. All right. Here we go. Better tell them okay, or they'll they'll be badgering me. Descend and maintain flight level two nine or zero Cessna seven Bravo Charlie. Now our airspeed's uh, coming up. There goes a couple of rivers. I forget where the San Joaquin River comes from, but one of those might be the San Joaquin River. Now yeah, we're getting along. Let's see what as I see the uh, barber pole coming up. Now we're doing 450 knots. True, we're truing out. Now we're really moving out. Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie. Goodbye. Oakland Center Cessna 527 Bravo Charlie is passing flight level 350, descending flight level 290. Cessna 527 Bravo Charlie, Oakland Center radar contact. Continue. We're getting across the valley. It's probably Modesto right down there. Let's see on our chart here. That would be MOD. Yeah, there's MOD off to our right. Modesto. Let's try that again. One more time. We got to click right on the MOD. Yep, the besto. I don't understand what's going on when it doesn't give you the full, the full name. 
We'll look back across this way. So 460 knots truing out. And we're not quite down to 29,000 yet. Yeah, we're up, we're up uh, close to the, uh, our never exceed speed is uh, 310 knots. We're 20, 20 knots away. This little pink part here has something to do with the uh, auto throttle. And let's see how far we have to go to get to the lake. That would be over on this side. Got 91, 91 nautical miles to the top of the lake. We'll look here. We're coming up on uh, 29,000. Yeah, that's right, right at the lake. Cessna 7, Bravo, Charlie, descend and maintain flight level 230. 2-3-0. Descend and maintain flight level 230, Cessna 7, Bravo, Charlie. Descend and maintain 11,000 feet, keep speed not above 220 knots, expect RNAV runway 18 approach via Hetri transition, clear to Hetri Cessna 7, Bravo Charlie. Descending to 11,000, we could increase this to 3,000 feet a minute. See how we're doing. 100 knot, 150. There we go. We got about a what did it say? 91. It was at there. And we got 73 nautical miles to go. Go outside. Enjoy the view. Looking up toward the Sierras. We'll, we'll change it to uh, clear. Clear skies. Whoa, look at that. A little better resolution. I don't quite see the lake yet, but it sits in a little bowl. And then right in here. And I, I keep thinking this might be the American River running down here, but I never look it up. And it looks south. It could be Lake Don Pedro down there. Or this, this could be... This could be Lake Don Pedro. There's a pretty, pretty nice bridge that goes across one of these. And of course, this is this is Highway 49 that runs along the foothills here, north-south. And then uh, Highway 4 goes up to the Sierras around here. 
Highway 50 is a little further over, comes out of Sacramento. But we'll, 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 we should go right over Highway uh, 50. This looks like power lines right under us here. Yeah, I can't quite figure that out. That could be Highway 50 right under us. So we'll keep an eye out for uh, for the lake. It looks like we're coming up on uh, right right in here is uh, higher the higher mountains on the uh, west side of Lake Tahoe, and they run a little bit north of the lake uh, to Mount Shasta, Squaw Peak. Is up there. What's our speed? 392. We're truing out. Get down to thicker air. We don't go quite as fast. So we'll pretend like there's a little inclement weather over the over the. Lake Tahoe. So let's uh, let's kind of bring that in. And we'll think uh, we got thunderstorms up here. Broken clouds. Broken clouds. But we're on a uh, instrument flight plan. So we'll be able to just drop right down through the clouds. Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie contact Oakland Center on 119er decimal 75. Good day. 119er decimal 75 Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie. Goodbye. Oakland Center Cessna 527 Bravo Charlie is at 13,300 feet, descending 11,000 feet. Cessna 527 Bravo Charlie, Oakland Center altimeter 29er decimal 9er 2 radar contact, continue to Hetri. So it sounds like they're dropping our power back a little bit. Yeah, see we're at 38% power. And that'll that should increase as we level out to uh, level out on 11,000 feet. And yeah, we're we're Zeroed in on 11,000 feet. And our throttles did come back up. It's really nice. I, uh, I, I'm, get, I'm getting, I'm getting spoiled. Kind of like uh, not having to worry about the throttle. I just worry about setting the rate of climb and the rate of descent. But if you're in a real airplane, you don't want to, you don't want to uh, exceed the uh, the speed uh, limit. You don't want to go over the red line. Looks like we'll go through a few clouds here. And we'll come right in over the north end of uh, Lake Tahoe. Be over Tahoe City, it's right in there. You'll see the highway that goes runs runs over to Truckee. Kind of curls around. It's going west out of Tahoe City, and then immediately heads north and goes right by Squaw Valley. We'll look we'll look uh, look down and see if we see that.
get over here. I think we got everything everything set set pretty well. And the pictures are more fun from the outside. We'll see if we see see the lake coming up. Should be right under us. A little bit Charlie. off to Contact the right. Oakland Center on one two seven decimal nine or five. Good day. One two seven decimal nine or five Cessna seven Bravo Charlie. Goodbye. Got the the power coming off, but that's because probably the speed speed set down to two twenty, so we have to lose some speed. Stay Oakland Center, here. Cessna 527 Bravo, Charlie 11,000 feet. Cessna 527 Bravo, Charlie, Oakland Center altimeter, 29er decimal 9er, 2 radar contact, continue to Hedry. So that's what it's dealing with, uh, is our, and we're, we're right over the Sierras here. Won't be seeing any skiers right here. A little granite out there. Don't want to mess with the granite. Here comes the power back in. So we're, our speed on our flight, flight plan dropped us automatically down to 220. And so we're down at 220 miles an hour. And there's the auto throttle is is working keeps us from it exceeding the red line go back and look in here we can move over so if we need to change change our altitude which we will be moving that down for our approach probably drop it down to about 7,000 feet once we start heading south down the lake here we come. Should be seeing Lake Tahoe here shortly. Haven't gotten any precipitation. No turbulence. Haven't run into any cells from thunder activity. We can look at our our distance we have to go, which is nine miles. And we'll be swinging around to the right. See it on the map. We see the lake coming into view right there. So we'll stay stay right behind here, and we'll look out at uh, Tahoe City. This might be Homewood right down in here. And then looking south, we're look right down these ridges. We see Squaw Valley down there. Uh, number of ski resorts right along in that. Uh, in that section. And then there's uh, Dollar Point sticking out. There's the, there's the road that runs out of Tahoe City around past Squaw Valley, which is right about in there, is the turn off for Squaw Valley and runs on over to Truckee Tahoe. We should start swinging right here shortly. Yeah, there's a, there it swings and it'll swing us around so we're heading south to South Shore Lake Tahoe Airport. And then they'll tell us to, when we're inbound, to call the South Shore Tower. I like to look outside. 
right over Dollar Point. Who's it along? 50% power. Look back inside. Yeah, we're right on course here. Descend and maintain 9,300 feet Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie. Here we go. And then he'll tell us to contact the tower. See, that, see those throttles? I'm not touching the throttles. They're doing all the work themselves. We've still got 220 knots. We're going 230, but it's calling for 220. And we're within a thousand feet of 93. And we can turn on our approach button here. And then we will see right in here, you start seeing the diamond come down for us to lock on to. We're at 9300. And he's going to say contact on, on uh, when I'm inbound. And I am inbound. So contact Tahoe Tower. Let's go back outside for one more look at the lake. And uh, just behind us, right there, is is uh, Incline Village, and uh, the uh, the adjacent. Seven Bravo Charlie, you are one two miles north of Tahoe. Contact tower on one one eight decimal tree that's, when inbound. That's Highway Fifty, right there. Tower on one one eight decimal tree, Cessna Seven Bravo Charlie. So. We'll contact the tower in just a second, but we'll drop this down to about seven, seven thousand, seventy-five hundred. There we go. Contact the tower. Tower Cessna five two seven Bravo Charlie Niner miles north inbound RNAV runway one eight approach. Cessna five two seven Bravo Charlie Tower. Altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two wind two five seven at one two. Clear on runway one eight approach. Right along here we're gonna see uh, seven, seven Bravo, Charlie wind two five seven at one two. Clear to land runway one eight. Let's see if we're on the glide slope. Yeah, we're on the glide slope. Clear to land runway one eight Cessna seven Bravo Charlie. Yeah, we're right on it. And we don't need this right now, so you can look at South Shore. Everything looks good in there. We got the wheels down and bring in some more flap. Full flap. And we're right on the glide slope. Calling for 140 knots. We'll go outside, get right on the tail. A little, little, little jog back and forth. This is really cool. If it if it stays with it. 
It's going around. I'm going to take the, take the autopilot off and just fly it on down. Turn off the autopilot. I mean, turn off the auto throttle. We'll get right up here. And we just run out to the end of the runway. Get right on the back here. We didn't even have to use our thrust reversers. Cessna 7 Bravo, Charlie exit runway when able. There we go. Okay. One one eight decimal tree, Cessna seven, Bravo, Charlie. Goodbye. Ground Cessna five two seven, Bravo, Charlie, request taxi to parking. Cessna five two seven, Bravo, Charlie, taxi to General Aviation parking via taxiway Echo Foxtrot. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Echo Foxtrot Cessna 7 Bravo Charlie. And we are going downhill, so I just put it in to, uh, to slow them down. Now we'll bring the sun out. There we go. Heavenly Valley would be over there on the right. Fallen Leaf Lake would be over on the left. And South Shore and Tahoe, Lake Tahoe are right straight ahead. So the terminal. Yeah, I'm not looking at the terminal. Here's the terminal right here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go right right in front. Hope I'm not making you too dizzy. Could make you real dizzy here. I don't know that they have airline service here anymore. There we go. The Tahoe Airport. And I'm sure it doesn't look like this. Actually, I can buy a, uh, the, a handcrafted uh, look for Tahoe. Not too cheap. <laughs> this looks okay. So uh, let's uh, let's shut down the engines and uh, get get uh, get the folks ready to go over to the Edgewood Resort. And we're gonna play golf. We're gonna boat. We're gonna gamble. We're just gonna have fun. Just just a just a rocking good time. Right over, right over in that direction. Thanks for riding along. See you soon. Bye-bye.